Let's look at the factors that affect the supply of a good or service. So firstly, the price of a good or service will affect the supply of a good. In the previous video, we learned that the price of a good will cause a movement along the curve. The price of the good is denoted by PX. Now, any other factor will cause a shift of the supply curve. And I will show you in our next video what a shift will look like. But for now, let's look at the factor, which factors will cause this shift. Firstly, the price of inputs. We also call this the cost of production. So if we are producing milkshakes, then that's an ugly milkshake, then the price of the inputs can relate to the price of milk, uh, the price of ice cream, the price of syrup, and so on. These will all be the price of the inputs that I put into my product. It can also be something like labor. Right, so the price of inputs is denoted by PC, okay, also called cost of production. When the price of inputs increases, so for instance, milk is now more expensive, then that will cause uh, suppliers to want to supply less of the product because it is more expensive for them to produce. Then the price of alternative goods and services. These can be complements and substitutes in production. For instance, a complement in production is something that is produced uh, together with a product. It's usually a byproduct. So if I am producing chickens, then feathers might be a byproduct, or if chicken meat and feathers. Then a, a substitute is a product that I can rather um, supply or manufacture instead of the current product. Um, so I have specific resources. For instance, I might have a specific um, size of land to farm on. And I can rather say, let me rather uh, produce uh, corn instead of chickens. Now, this will be determined by the price of the good that I'm selling. So if um, the price of corn increases, then it will be more profitable. Remember, this is the price um, um, of the price that I will sell corn for if I would uh, if I were to move to that production. So therefore, um, if corn is more profitable, meaning I can get a better price by selling corn, then I would much rather produce that than chicken. So my supply for chickens would fall. So this can sound a little bit complex, but just um, think about it very carefully um, and remember that you would want to uh, supply a product that you can sell for the highest cost. But do not confuse this with the price of inputs. The price of inputs would be something like chicken feed. So this would mean that my chickens will be more expensive to produce because it costs more to produce them. So do not confuse this. And then the first one, PX, is the price of the chicken itself. Um, Right, so then also technology use. If I um, purchase 
um, some great new machinery that can help me pluck more chickens per hour, then that will also increase the supply of my chickens. And then um, the number of suppliers, right? So I've just, just for example's sake, I've, I've um, uh, used a single firm, but we are actually talking about the market supply. So when there are more, num more suppliers in the market, then my supply curve will shift um, or will, my supply will increase. We'll discuss the shift a bit later. And then uh, when, the, when some of the suppliers exit the market, then the supply will fall. We can, as a market, supply less with fewer suppliers. And then we have other factors. We have the weather and expected prices. So the weather, for instance, can impact especially farming. So I might be able to produce less corn um, because of the, um, the drought. Um, and or, or if there's too much rain and so on. Um, fisheries and so on will really be affected by these type of conditions and then we can put all of this in a supply equation uh, so the quantity supplied is a function f or function of px which is the price of the good of chickens then the cost of production or the price of inputs then technology and the number of firms and then these three dots mean other factors right so and any other factor right so the quantity supplied is a function of these specific factors now just a note especially for when we get to the next videos is that the price of the product causes a movement along the curve but any of the other factors will cause a shift of the curve and in a later video we will show you how the supply curve will shift